Painting textiles with natural pigment. Today we're painting textiles with natural pigments. If you'd like to learn more about this technique, head over to thedogwooddyer.com and sign up to her Year in Natural Dye subscription, where she shares so many incredible tutorials. We will link it below, and I'm not an affiliate for her, by the way, I just adore her work. She was the first person to buy a pair of my naturally dyed overalls, and I just felt so honoured and encouraged by that at the beginning of my journey, and I will always appreciate it so much. Hey, so today's video is going to be a bit more of a demonstration than a tutorial. I'm going to be, well, I think Billy is going to be painting um, some lake pigment powders that I made and we're going to turn them into paint and she's going to be painting them onto a pair of Billy New overalls. So I'm just making some paint now. She's the oldest of our family. No, look, she's the <laughs> old. Look, shag the granny. Are you a granny, Sally? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the paint, Dallin, that you're going to use. Is there not any other colours? Yeah, there's going to be two other colours. One a bit pinker. And one blue one. Thank you, I feel Shadow. Like maybe yeah. this Thank one you. I've done a bit much liquid. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. How naughty is that baby being over there? <laughs> <laughs> Look what she also did. How? Oh. How? Oh. oh, yeah, it's quite. I've done quite a good job of it, I think. Okay, let me do the house. A house. <laughs> okay. I know it's like that had some um, indigo powder on it. That um, it looks quite smooth. Well, it might be have been quite clever. Oh, a bit of collage. Right, I'm going to pour this into a jar now, and then I'm, I'm going to do the next colour. And I think I'm going to do the next colour a bit thicker, let's see, or less liquid. Okay, let's try not to spill any. Oops. I put slightly less um, liquid in this one. So just look at this one in the light. Just to see, it's a little bit thicker. I put less liquid in this one. Hang on, Dalian, you've still got some. <laughs> it's the first time that Shade's got really involved in painting. Oh, look at this. This one looks really good. The consistency looks perfect. In my humble opinion. Look at that. Billy, yeah. can you just help me a second with your paintbrush? Can you scrape out the paint that's in here and put into the pot? Okay. Like scrape it into there. And now we're gonna do the blue one in a different pot. So this is my indigo pestle and mortar, so I'm just gonna do this one in here. into the light and see what it looks like. Okay, let's get that into the... <laughs> what are you doing? Go away. <laughs> nice, no, stop it. Right, I think we're ready to paint now, guys. Thank the Lord. Right. So this one, you've got blue. You've got um, purple and pink. Yeah. How has it got so messy in here in such a short space of time? It's so here's your thin paint brush, which can, you can do with the stalks or the petals or whatever you want. And I'm just going to get you a jar with some water to rinse your brush. So what colour are you going to do first then? Cool. I don't even know which colour is it. Where are you going to paint? Yeah. Oh.
<laughs> and remember, it's okay if you need to do two coats. Un côté est fait, un côté... Attends, je vais juste faire une fleur. Ici. Attends. Draw in. Like, it's just like drawing, but liquid and it's messy. I like it when it's messy. Oh, messy. We can mix colors up and make new colors. Like when we have only three colors, we can mix them up. Then you have other colors. It looks like poop. Is that I drew oh, lots really? of poop? That's so cool. I drew lots of poop on it. Oh shush. Just kidding. I love all the different shapes and styles of flowers you've done. They're both. I mean, twin flower. Normal flower, 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 flower. Lots of flowers, only flowers. And on the other side, I did only farms. Which ones? Did you use the two pinks? Uh, yes. Yeah. I used almost only the two pinks, and the only thing I did in blue is if, yeah. is, and is. Okay, so Billy has done her design on my overalls, and it's looking pretty cool, I have to say. And what we'll do now is we'll just let it dry um, for a couple of days and then we'll rinse it and I'll be wearing it. I'm just going to be rinsing these overalls now. I'm just rinsing them in some cool water just to get off any excess pigment. <laughs> Just being really gentle. Well, look, you can see the colours kind of popping there a bit. As I do think Billy kind of smudged all the colours together a bit. this a bit longer and then rinse off the soap and then I will let them air dry and then I will be wearing them around town. 
show off. Beautiful work of my lovely daughter. It's definitely a little bit of um, pigment transfer there, but that doesn't really surprise me because Billy just. <laughs> caked on the blue and anyway it makes it even more special but yeah this is rinsed now I'm gonna hang it to air dry and then I'm gonna wear it gently gently precious precious so this is the final look after its final rinse and wash and of course I adore them um, you know it feels really special to be wearing something that's been painted by one of my most favorite people in the universe there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about first of all you may notice that on some of the white bits some of the blue pigment has transferred um, I think that was probably because that pigment was quite thick I could have maybe made it a bit more liquidy um, also Billy just plastered it on <laughs> you know like when you're working with a real artist you can't really tell them what to do so she just had free reign and yeah everything got smudged together a bit but I don't mind it at all I love it in fact um, so yeah there's probably a few ways that you can avoid that maybe as you can see with the the more purple paint that hasn't really happened and that was much more liquidy um, so yeah I just wanted to point that out really but I just, I just adore them. This was a really fun little project and I love the outcome. I hope it's inspired you to have some fun with natural dyes and most importantly with your family. Perfection is never our goal and somehow things just seem to end up that way. Perfectly imperfect, as they say. If you're interested in your own pair of Billy New overalls, please head over to my website, billynew.com or get in touch as I often take custom orders. Maybe you'd like to try this painting technique on them or let your kid go wild on an old t-shirt. Remember, you can find a detailed tutorial over with Liz Spencer, aka The Dogwood Dyer. As usual, like, comment and subscribe and see you soon.